welcome to The Artist Detective, where we investigate the lives and art of the great artists. Today, we will investigate the life and art of me. Do you know who I am? I am Rembrandt. I am so famous, I only go by my first name. Now, my name is really Rembrandt von Rien, but Everybody calls me Rembrandt. You say it, Rembrandt. Rembrandt! I was born in Leiden, Holland in 1606. You may recall that a group of separatist Puritans came to Leiden in 1607 and lived there during the time I was growing up until in 1620 they left to form a colony in the New World called Plymouth Colony. I was the ninth child of my parents and my mother used to read the Bible to me all the time. In fact, the only book I read is the Bible. So one of my favorite subjects to paint is Bible scenes. Look at this picture of Belshazzar's feast. It is from Daniel 5 when Belshazzar the king gives a feast using the gold goblets from God's temple in Jerusalem and proceeds to praise false gods. He sees a hand write a message on the wall, which, as you can see, causes him great fear. He calls Daniel to interpret it, and alas, God has numbered his days, and Belshazzar dies that night. And here is David playing the harp for King Saul. And later, here is David presenting the head of Goliath the giant to King Saul after David defeats Goliath. Have you seen my painting, The Return of the Prodigal Son? Some say it is the greatest picture ever painted. I am a Dutch master. It is one of my last works, though I made sketches and paintings of this subject over the years, like this one of myself, you know, a self-portrait, as the prodigal son. In The Prodigal Son in the Brothel, the model of the woman in the painting is my wife, Saskia. Though I have deep religious faith, it is a theme near and dear to my heart, as my own life was not always so pure. We are all sinners, you know, in need of a loving father who will take us back despite our sin like in the story of the prodigal son. But how did I become a painter, you ask? Well, as a boy, I went to Latin school. Do you study Latin in the classics? Well, anyway, when I was 14, I attended the University of Leiden, but I wanted to become a painter, so I got an apprenticeship with Jacob von Swanenberg for three years and later with Peter Lastman in Amsterdam for six months. I soon had my own studio in Leiden and later in Amsterdam and I took on my own students. In Amsterdam is where I met my wife Saskia and where I became a portrait painter. I love to paint portraits and make use of expressions. Here is our one surviving son Titus See these other portraits. I, Jato, from the late 1200s to early 1300s, was one of the first Renaissance artists to create realistic people showing emotions. Yes, thank you, Jato. Do you want your portrait painted? What is a portrait? Why, it is a picture of you. I love to paint portraits of my family and friends. I will paint your portrait. Why don't you just use a camera? What is a camera? In the 1600s, we do not have a camera. How do you use this thing? Turn it on, hold it up, and push this button to take the picture. 
Let me try. Oh, that is much faster than painting a portrait. And look at the light. There is light on you and the other areas are a little darker. That is how I like to paint. I like my subject in the light and the dark colors around. You can see this in my famous painting, The Night Watch. We, oui, we, oui. we, the Impressionists in the late 1800s loved to paint in plain air or in the open air, capturing what we saw with our eyes because of the effects of light on a landscape. I, Claude Monet, loved to paint with short brush strokes and you might have seen my many paintings of the water lilies. I, Edgar Degas, also like the effect of light and am considered an impressionist, but I like painting ballet dancers and scenes from the theater, not outdoor scenes. I, Berta Morisot, also am an impressionist who brings a woman's touch with my intimate scenes of domestic life. Portraits are nice. I, Thomas Gainsborough, was one of the leading portraitists of my time in the 1700s in England, but I prefer adding landscapes. Do you paint any landscapes? Yes, a few, but I prefer close-up portraits. I also love to paint self-portraits. I do make a good model, don't you think? Here are a few of my self-portraits over the years. Vincent van Gogh, also a Dutch painter, but from the late 1800s, am so inspired by you, and I am also known for my many self-portraits. Rembrandt, you go so deep into the mysterious that you say things for which there are no words in any language. It is with justice that they call you, Rembrandt, magician. That's no easy occupation. Magician? Well, more like Dutch master. You know, Rembrandt, you have inspired many artists. I, Norman Rockwell, the American illustrator from the 1900s, pinned up your self-portrait to my canvas for my own triple self-portrait along with Vincent van Gogh's, Durer's, and Picasso's, though I am better known for my humorous depictions of everyday American life. American. I've never heard of America. Do you know what he is talking about? Well, anyway, let's review about who I am. After all, today the artist detective is supposed to be about me, Rembrandt. Now, let's review it with you. I will say it. Rembrandt. Rembrandt. 1600s. 1600s. Holland. Holland. Dutch master. Dutch master. Bible scenes and portraits. Bible scenes and portraits. Expressions and Ex use of lights. Expressions and use of lights. I look forward to being your host on The Artist Detective and talking about me. I mean, I look forward to investigating the lives and art of the great artists like me. Remember, Ecclesiastes 3.11 says, God has made everything beautiful in its time. Until next time, Rembrandt and the Artist Detective.